All right guys, so in this little short video, I'm gonna go over the crank in cam gears and sensors for the micro squirt. As you can see here, I ground that one tooth off. It's the one right before top dead center. So say 11 o'clock. And the reason why we do this is so that the ECU knows where top dead center is. Now, if you haven't seen my wiring video, I would suggest to go back and watch it. I kind of go over this a little bit. I also go over the wiring. Now, the reason why I run it like this is because the micro squirt runs wasted spark and batch fire injection on this motor. It can't do individual cylinder control. And with that, we don't need a cam sensor. Now, I'm finishing up this motor. We're going to try to get it back in the Del Sol this weekend. And whenever I get it back in the car, I will stop whenever I get to the lower intake manifold. I'm going to go ahead and tape it up before I drop it in the car. And I will do a demo of how to wire this. But this is a necessity. You have to do this. And within this car, you have to do it with the motor out. So I figured I would do this video for the people at this stage or the people wondering what we have to do underneath that timing cover. Once I get that lower put on, get it back in the car, I'll do like a little demo of the wiring. Uh, I'm actually not going to do a full wiring video. I will show you how I've done mine. You can do it that way or you can choose to do it a different way, but you're a little on your own there because every chassis, every car, everything's gonna be slightly different. So you're gonna to have to be able to make decisions on your own. <laughs> I'll help you with the way that I set mine up, but that's not gonna be for everybody. So expect that video, like, subscribe, so you can see it when it comes out. And if you want to see something in that wiring video, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I will make sure it gets in there if I haven't already posted the video.